if you think for one second that I am joking, that after I watched Trash Awakens, that I didn't throw this action figure in the bin, <laughs> you're greatly mistaken. Um, Finn, you see, I am glad that this day has come. I've been waiting for this day for ages. I've been waiting desperately, desperately for this day for ages. For when, because we always, we, we always saw hints. We always saw hints. And I'm so glad that this happened. And which is why I've alluded to this before, but it's, I always like to just bring this back again, just to remind people why. I don't. I not only not like Star Wars. I despise Star Wars. Star Wars makes me sick, and I have a personal vendetta, vendetta against Star Wars. And there is a certain pride in me that I want to see it fail. I really want to see Star Wars fail based on what it did to me. And I will, I will, I will go into it a bit more. But John Boyega, I mean Boyega, just finally said what we all knew through his tweets and everything. But now like, you know what? The, the, the contract is up. It is what it is. Disney used me to misdirect because they wanted their Disney princess to really be the main lead. But they fooled people like this fool, like like this idiot here, to pretty much make um, someone else the main character. And I'm going to say this, Disney, you owe me. You owe me, what was it, opening night? I would argue, you owe me like 11, 12 pounds. You Because I just have not had time. I have a great case to take your lying asses to court, 100% for false advertising. Because if I was to go to court, I'd say, bro, you owe me, no, you owe me 12 pounds plus emotional damage as, 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 as well for what I invested. You owe me 100%, you, you, you filthy liars, you filthy stinking liars. Um, so, let's, so let's just break, break, break this whole, 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 whole thing down. When it was announced that John Boyega was going to be part of Star Wars. I was like, they're, they're not going to make a black Jedi. <laughs> they're not. Star Wars, Star, Star, for me, my whole thing was that Star Trek has always been my thing. Because in my mind, because see, my two big Greek brothers, they are massive Star Wars fans. So they are more into Star Wars than I am. So I was more of a Star Trek guy. Because for me, I said, for me, Star Wars was like, no, that's for white people. That, that's, like, that's white fantasy. There's nothing there to me. The only black person in Star Wars the only black was was um, James Earl Jones, who was really the voice. You never saw him, and Lando Calrissian, who who actually tricked <laughs> your boy Han Solo. So again, the the whole thing of a black heroic character, no, it's no, it's for white people. It's white fans, which is fine. It's fine because a white guy should make a franchise for white people. Hundred percent. If I was if I was to make a fancy project, I'm not making it for white people. Now, even people can enjoy it and everything, but no, I'm making it specifically for black people. I'm making it specifically for Africans or for Nigerians. 100% like my dream project is a Nigerian African fantasy. <laughs> so, but it doesn't mean that no one else can like it, but fantasy is what you connect with the most. How can John Lucas connect with a black man or a Aborigine or a South American or a Japanese or, or a Chinese or a Russian? No. So I was like, okay, fine. But then when the poster came out, I was like, Hang on. Why does this dude have a lightsaber? Because in my foolish mind, in my foolish mind, I was like, I know I, I grew up watching Star Wars because of my brothers and my uncles, that's all they watched all day. So I said, a regular dude, dude, dude can't have a lightsaber. <laughs> it, it would be so stupid to have a guy without any force on the poster using a lightsaber. Because when Han Solo used, used the lightsaber, he used it for two seconds. But it was all awkward. At no poster did you have Han Solo even sniff or come close to holding a lightsaber because Lucas would not. That's so. This is a sacred wear weapon. There's no way in hell I'm letting flipping that side chick from the road pilot Han Solo pick up a a how hold a lightsaber on a poster. So I say, if he's holding lightsaber on a poster, then he has to be a Jedi. Surely they wouldn't get a non Jedi holding the lightsaber on a poster because that would be one of the dumbest things to do. I didn't think these guys were this stupid. It's really mistaken. But I was like, okay, well, it's, it's still up in there, still up in there. Maybe say misdirect. Then I look at the trailer and he's using the lightsaber. 
He's swinging the lightsabers. Remember, Han Solo used the lightsaber for two seconds just to cut um, your boy Luke from the Tauntaun and, and everything. He used it for two seconds, not for combat. This guy is swinging it and using it for con combat. I was like, well, he has to be, he has to be a Jedi. <coughs> <Jenai. laughs> he's with the, he's in the poster. He's, he has to be a Jedi. So I was pumped up. I was like, wow, damn, <laughs> a black Jedi. Because in my mind, I was like, no, Star Trek is where I'm at. Because Star Trek is a franchise where everyone is, 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 is involved. Because the whole, see, Gene Roddenberry was about, no, Star Trek is about all races. That's what it's about. It's my vision for the future where nobody sees race. That was a beat about Star Trek. Star Trek is, this is years into the future where racism isn't, isn't even a, a concept. So black, Asian, Chinese, well, who cares? It's, it's, so it's not even a big deal to have like a black captain or a Japanese captain. It doesn't matter because it's like, or a transgender captain. Because this, we've, we've passed all those prejudices. For stars, we thought, oh, so was, this is still an olden concept of where, you know, the white hero and everything, which is all cool and everything. But I said, another change. So I was, I was pumped up. I remember Disney Store, Oxford Street, I went in and I bought that Finn toy. I went in, I bought the Finn toy, put it right in there. I was like, man, whoa, I am fully in support because this could be amazing. This would be huge, huge. Similar to what Black Panther did for you know young black kids and everything this could be something that black kids could aspire to <clears throat> so you 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 got me oh, i'm really in because see if they showed me this ridley as the main character with the, with the lightsaber i wouldn't be three thousand light years from that anyway in that cinema because if you just told me this ridley is the jedi she was on the poster oh cool cool <laughs> There's no way in the hell I'm coming anywhere near that cinema. No way. I'm, 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 not, I'm not watching that. But I remember, because see, see, I'm like a forum guy. I was on the forums all day, every day, blah, blah, blah. And I remember, I think this was either the night before or a, or a week before. People said, I just was seeing some things where, no, it's a misdirect. He's not, he's not force sensitive. This is just a misdirect because the big reveal is Daisy Ridley is the one, but they didn't want to show that. So they're using, they're using him for a misdirect, you know? Like a, like a slave, you know, like like a slave. Just yeah, let's just use the the black dude to Mister. It's, it's it's fine. It's it's all cool. But then, and then I remember like no, I think maybe. But just that before I went to watch the cinema, you just never knew. But my brothers didn't know. And I remember watching, sitting in the cinema, and you know the moments that this really gets hold of the lightsaber. I said that I would have walked out of the cinema, and I wish I did. In hindsight, now I actually re regret that. I don't have any regrets, but I, re I regret not sit, standing up and just walking out the same. You know what? Okay, I'm done. Let me leave. But I don't know why I didn't. I, sh I should have done it. And just afterwards, you just found out that you know Finn was a slave. Um, he was there for comedy relief. He was useless. Um, so he was not a Jedi. He wasn't force sensitive. He wasn't even a good soldier. He contributed nothing to the crew. He was just a bumbling oaf. Complete, a complete bumbling off. He was useless. So I put him in the same scrap heap as War Machine and Falcon, the other useless black sidekicks. Um, what was I about to say? So, and then I remember when I, I was so angry, so pissed off, it took that. I remember, first of all, I threw it, I threw my my my, my toy, just, I just gotta say, I don't want to see, see this crap. <laughs> Watch some of my football hall videos. You actually see, see 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 this figure, but then and then afterwards, I was like, "Now nah, I'm gonna throw this. I don't I don't I don't want to see this crap in my vicinity." So I remember I just threw the action figure in in, in the bin. So 100, percent I literally threw the action figure in the bin, totally discarded. So right now it's in it's it's been melted away in the trash heaps somewhere. Um, but I'm so happy that Boyega has finally said it succinctly. So without any filter or any kind of oh, what does he mean that. Yeah, Disney didn't know how to use a black character. That they used me, and they didn't actually make me do any of the main cool stuff. And it's a, see, not many actors will come out and just say it as clear as that. People actually were like, oh, well, you know, but it is so beautiful because because now whether you're a Dylan Kaluuya, whether you're a Nate Parker, whether you're an Ashton Sanders, or so forth, all of these young black guys will know. Ah, it's out there now. It's out there now. So whenever you're reading a script work with the director, just be like, bro, let me know now. Don't pull anything from me right now. So, because I told you, Star Wars is garbage. 
Star Wars was three films. Okay. A New Hope, um, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Don't let any of these Star Wars fanboys give you any, any of that nonsense about the prequels or these trash sequels. Star Wars is finished. These, you know, these, these fanboys, they're so deluded that they think, oh my God, Star Wars, everything Star Wars is amazing. No, 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 no. Those three sequels were complete garbage trash. Force Awakens was a ripoff of A New Hope, a poor ripoff. Last Jedi is one of the most boring crap films I've ever seen in my life. Rise of Skywalker is an abomination piece of, piece of crap. So it's a piece of crap um, collage of films, you know. And but 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 the crazy thing though is that you see, Star Wars, you just you you only just harmed yourself. You know, so this isn't about oh, why do we have to have a black jet because we don't just try and be social justice words or cool. No, no, this is to help you. Okay, this is to actually this will actually make your friendships interesting. Giving Daisy Ridley a lightsaber is stupid because she swings it like a girl. Now, if you want a female Jedi, pick an Asian because Asian women have a grace and a tenacity to their, they know how to fight. Okay. Now, some white women, maybe they do, but Daisy Ridley, I told you, when I was in the cinema watching Force Awakens, seeing Daisy Ridley fights, I was laughing. I was like, this looks like this dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. This looks like a little, this looks like my little cousins. This looks like my, my little eight, no, how old are they? Like seven, eight, nine year old cousins trying to swing around a lightsaber. It looks stupid. <laughs> it looks completely and utterly stupid. Um, madness. So, but, I'm so happy that Boyga has just put it out there. He's put it out there that they used me. Um, the franchise is racist because a lot of those racist dumbass fans were actually sending me all this kind of race hate mail because they were afraid that there would actually be a black storm. I mean, guys, I told you I mean, guys, but Star Wars is a Star Wars is, is a piece of crap. The the franchise is so racist. It's so racist that people really had an issue with um, a black stormtrooper. They, they, they are so desperate for their franchise to remain white, where the black guys are either are just sideshow things, and the Jedi, the pilots, the stormtroopers, and everything are sort of white. That's the thought of a black stormtrooper. Since she was done, can't have a black. So can you just see the useless franchise that we're, that we're dealing with? Who the heck wants to watch this crap? <laughs> that's, that's just me. Who the heck wants... See, for me, my thing is, if what... You see, it's, it's difficult. If we're dealing with, in medieval times and everything, I don't want to say any, I don't want to say any black people, no Asians, no things. So if we're dealing with, like, Thor, like, no and everything, I don't want to say any, any black people, no Asians, no South Americans, I don't want to say any mixed race, but I want to see white people, white blonde people. Because I am one of those that respect the subject matter, respect the historical context of it. But and see, the thing with Star Wars is difficult because on one hand, I'm like, this is supposed to, it's this isn't this isn't sci-fi. This is this is fantasy. It is not science fiction. Star Wars is fantasy. When you're dealing with like the the, the force, belief, feel, and everything, that's fantasy. That's not sci-fi. Okay, sci-fi is minority role, role, role reports. That's a sci-fi. So I think with fantasy, surely there should be a mix of races and so forth and everything. But at the same time, where I started off with, it's a white man's fantasy created by a white man. And I, I will respect the fact that if I'm white, I want to and I have my fantasy. My fantasy will have white people as heroes. Why should me as a white man have to make space for black people, Asian people? No, that's my fantasy. Me as a black man, my fancy will have black people as the heroes. I don't really care about having white people or any people in there because I'm not nothing. They're not in my fancy. My fancy are about black people or African people in heroic positions and so forth. I'll throw in a, a, a white guy as a sideshow in there, a guy as a sideshow in there, but my main aim are black guys as the heroes. That's my fancy. So for that, I'm like, cool. See, Gene Roddenberry was just, see, his fans was just different because his fans was like, no, this is not. This isn't personal to me. I'm trying. I'm. 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 I'm creating a utopia. A utopia where this whole race thing. Eh, nah, it's nothing. Black, white. <laughs> nobody even mentions race <laughs> in in Star Trek. It's not even really like a thing. Like, okay, okay. What? I think for forgotten his name. The guy with the visors on Star Trek. The next. Is this La, La Salle or something? On the um, next generation. 
he was black, but there was nothing made of him being black. So, oh yeah, that's just him with the visors. Boom. Um, so it is what it is what it is. But I mean, um, they missed an but see, they missed an opportunity. This is not about oh no, why do you want to put a black guy in there? John Boyega is a much better actor than Daisy Ridley. John Boyega, with that lightsaber and everything, that is a very dynamic Jedi. So him as a hero, it makes your film better because you have a better actor, someone who will sell the usage of the lightsaber a lot better, and you will just have a better, stronger film. You have a better, stronger film. So, But then you put it into Daisy Ray Ridley, who is a weaker actor, doesn't know how to swing a light, swings a lightsaber like a girl. You have a, you have a, you have a piece of trash film, which is what Fossil Records was. Fossil Records was a piece of trash because they, the hero is useless. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Daisy Ridley swinging a lightsaber as a hero? That's I mean, you're having a laugh. You're having a laugh, man. So yeah, man. Um, Finn got screwed over, and Disney, you pieces of absolute dog trash crap. You owe me a flippy cinema ticket. Because by the way, I didn't pay for Last Jedi: Rise of Skywalker. Oh yes, I watched it. I didn't pay for it. You pieces of crap. But Force Awakens, you absolute losers. You pricks. You bricks. You sad. Sick racist pricks. You owe me for wasting my time and their thoughts and cash of watching your piece of crap for for a week because I thought this dude was gonna be a Jedi, not flipping Daisy Ridley. So yeah, there we go. Pieces of crap. Become a half hope sort member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films, anime, or different videos with your boy HH exclusively. Just click below on the join button to join in and become a Half of Sorts member to gain access to these perks. Just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you.